Hi, I'm Brent Nelson, Product Manager with Digi International. Today I want to talk about remote tank monitoring and some of the challenges we see in the industry and why people haven't been implemented, implementing it, and also talk about a new way to look at the solution and possibly get around some of those challenges. So if you're watching this today, this is probably pretty similar to your business. You've got your factory and distribution here, you've got your trucks, and they're going out to your customer site to either fill or empty tanks. And if this is your business, then this is your cash register. When these tanks get filled and empty, you're making money. But your trucks in the middle, while an important part of your business, are also costing you money. Now today, if you have no visibility to how much is in these tanks, you're probably running these trucks a lot more often than you need to. And why is that? because you don't want to get an angry call from this guy. And if you knew what the level was in the tanks, you'd be a lot more efficient here, save a lot of money here, and put a lot more money in your pocket in the end. Now, if this is your business, you've probably looked at tank monitoring before. We're not reinventing the wheel here. Uh, but there was probably a reason you didn't do it, or potentially there's a reason that your current solution isn't working like you wanted it to. Now, why didn't you do it? It's probably one of two reasons. The first one is ROI our favorite acronym, return on investment. You sat down, you looked at what your recurring costs were gonna be and what your labor costs were gonna be with the solution, decided this just doesn't make sense for our business. Or potentially it was the, the fear of the unknown. You said, our business is trucks and distribution and manufacturing. We don't know anything about running wires. We don't know anything about configuring local networks. We don't know anything about managing a data plan. But looking at the technology, there's ways to solve both of these scenarios. So to implement tank monitoring, you need a sensor on the tank, obviously, and then to push that data up to the cloud. At Digi, we use our device cloud, where the data can be stored and managed, and you can also manage your wireless devices. From there, it can go two places, and this is, a, this is where the model changes from maybe what you're used to. The first place it can go is to a tank monitoring application, a tank monitoring solution that provides you everything you need to optimize your business. But the other option, which is different than most people offer, is you can link it directly to your own enterprise or cloud, build, bring it right into your own company solutions. Either build new applications or link to existing applications. So there's two options here which can address both of your challenges. So if we, knowing that now, if we go back and, and look at the two challenges we talked about. ROI, especially when you're integrating with your own enterprise, that drastically changes the cost model of the solution. And with, without having to purchase a full solution, you can drop your recurring cost by 80%. And also your labor costs, with fully bundled solutions with their own batteries, with their, without the requirement to run any wires or configure any local networks, you can drop those install costs, install times from two hours down to about 10 minutes. So when you look at those two new inputs, when integrating with your enterprise, that's a drastically different ROI calculation that you probably did in the past. And now you might have something that makes sense for your business. Now, if you still look at that and say, no, I, I want the fully bundled solution. I still have a fear of the unknown. There's a network of partners out there and solution providers who can bundle everything. They can bundle the hardware, the cellular data costs, and the application all together so that your, app, your people don't need to run wires. They don't need to configure networks, and they don't need to manage a data plan. So there's no longer a fear of the unknown. I hope this helped you think about tank monitoring in a different way, and I hope this helps you find a solution that optimizes your business.